Good day, everybody. This video is on this Endurance Lights 90 watt solar street light, and I am so excited to check this puppy out. I've been waiting for this. Set it up, put it together, test it out, and I'll tell you what I think. And I'll just, I'll actually let you see what you think. So look at that. That's cool. It's pretty light. Nice. This is the, uh, the mounting bracket for it. Can't move it. Okay, the first step in the directions say to charge this thing in direct sunlight for at least six to eight hours. So that's the first step. So I'm going to do just that right now. Here's the solar panel. This thing is solar LED. It's a solar LED street light. So um, they say this should be cleaned at least every three months. So if you or if you're going to put this beneath trees and you know, where a bunch of pollen collects on it, it's obviously gonna affect the sun's rays getting through to this panel. So if you can, keep it as clean as possible. And really, I would recommend installing this in an area where it's not gonna get a bunch of stuff sitting on top of it. All right, let's check this out. I'm gonna turn the light off on this camera though, and then I'm gonna push the on button and test it out. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. Man, that baby's bright. That's nice. I can't wait to test this out <clears throat> when it's pitch black out. So this is kind of in a semi-lighted room, but that is nice and bright. Look at that. That's awesome. All right, this thing got a lot of charge. Um, I'm about ready to mount this now, and so I kind of wanted to show you real quick on how I'm gonna go about that. So this stuff here, this stuff comes with it with these and these but for my mounting purposes today i'm not going to use that but this is for these are anchors okay so and then these here are for this for the back of this if you want to if you wanted to let's say you want to install it around a four by four you put that on there and then that's what those go to so i got some extra bolts and stuff an extra bracket or if i ever need it in the future but this thing's going right to the wall and all I'm going to use is this one because well, that works. There's this here. This is just going to go like this. It's going to sit down in there. And then this just goes like that and clamps it. Clamps it together with these shorter screws here. Or uh, bolts. Now, these up here will go thing's going to come down through this way but those, those nuts right there you sit up in here right in those holes so you just put them in one by one and then um, we'll get it we'll get this baby going but i'm going to go ahead and i'm actually gonna i'm going to go ahead and put this thing together uh as it sits right now rather than mount it to the wall first and then, so I just want to make sure, see this thing has an angle and I want this to be angled up. So I want to ensure that, you know, I wouldn't want to have it installed downwards. So that's, uh, I mean, there might be applications for that, which is kind of nice. You can, you can do that. So, all right, go ahead and put that in there like that. And then this goes on top, just like that. Pull this remote out of here. Just gonna loosely put this thing in first. So go down this way. Actually, we need to get a we need to get a washer for it. Here we go. We got our washer, and that's just gonna go right down through here. Underneath, put our nut in there. hand tight the nice thing you only need one wrench because those these things tuck up in there like that makes that easy you can even do this with the crest wrench if you want to 916 fits this well crank them down with that all right now that thing's getting some good exposure and so we'll see how it does tonight wait for the sun to go down come out and mess around with that remote control and show you the different functions on that Okay, here's the remote that comes along with this. Pop the back off right there, it just slides out. Two AAA batteries. 
All right, well, here we are at night. I'm gonna try this out. So I need to turn this on, I believe. Oh yeah, there we go. That's nice. Oh yeah, that's really good. That's really lighting up the area nicely. Well, there we have it. Works great, I had to turn it on manually. But now, I also have this remote in my hand too. You can see it kind of lights up everything below it. That's great. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use this remote control. So we're gonna go ahead and push the uh, 2H button right here. To turn it on. There we go, turned it on. Now, so you can push that. The 2H, the 4H, the 6H, that's all hours. So it's supposed to stay on that long if you leave it on one of those modes. To turn it off one of those modes, you gotta push that button or off. Let's try the off button. There we go.